Hey guys, it's Claudia. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna be doing a thrift with me for a week kind of video. So I'm gonna be going to a different thrift store probably every day. I'm gonna see what I can find and hopefully a week of thrifting will be entertaining for you and also bring me some cool pieces hopefully. And if not, then I'll show you what I find regardless. And I think I'll probably just film a separate haul video if there's a lot of pieces. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's just get into it. So the skirt section did not disappoint at this first thrift store. I ended up finding so many good skirts that I really had to narrow it down. <laughs> this denim one was really cool because it's nice and long so it's perfect for fall. You can definitely style it with like knee-high boots or something and I think it's a classic. I love the texture of this next skirt. I think it's the perfect low-waisted skirt. Again, I think perfect with knee-high boots. Then I found this beauty, which is the most lovely blue colored mini skirt. This was just such a cool 90s, 2000s style of piece. And I think it's actually dead stock as well because I had that tag. I found a couple more mini skirts which is always a fun find and definitely on trend right now such as this jean one too this one i feel like is the most classic of them all i just wasn't sure i needed it because i found those other pieces and this skirt was cool just because of how long it was and it had like a nice front slit truly i just couldn't get enough of the skirts at this thrift store it was literally the best thrift store i've seen for skirts so far I just found so many of them and I ended up having to go through them and then I decided to move on to pants and see if I could find any low-waisted wide leg pants but unfortunately no luck there this time. Then I went into one of my favorite aisles which is the vests and blazers aisle and there was a lot of good pieces here as well like this one which is actually part of a set. Then I went through the entire blazer section and came to this lovely piece and I really like the color of this blazer as well as the ruffle trim or kind of hem around it. I think it's just so flattering, kind of feminine, so definitely like that piece. And honestly the blazer section and the skirt section are my favorites to go through. Every piece is just so different that they stand out a lot more than something like jeans. So I just find them a lot easier to shop in and definitely spend a lot of time in there. I also found this piece which was really cool. It was a linen blazer with like gold little specks in it and a frayed hem, more of a summer piece. Then I just headed over to a quiet section of the store and started trying on some of the pieces. And I absolutely love how this blazer looked. I also wanted to check the length of this skirt and how that would kind of look. Obviously I'm wearing sneakers here, but I think ideally I'd wear it with some knee-high boots. This next skirt, however, was very much an exciting piece to find. I just absolutely love this color and if you've watched my videos, you know I'm all about my neutrals and selective colors, so this one was definitely a yes for me. Went into the yes pile. You guys already know I love this next piece. The pockets are just iconic on it and you won't believe I actually found the same exact skirt at a vintage store a couple days later. That was definitely a good find and this next skirt was also pretty cool. I love the long slit in the front. It just has a really nice sporty feel to it and there's also so many pockets which I love. And then I found this pair of shorts in the men's section and this is like what I've been looking for all summer. <laughs> Unfortunately they were too big though so I left them behind. And then I moved on to the purses section. 
I found this really cool purse that had kind of like a 90s, early 2000s pocket in the front. It's like the perfect pocket for your cell phone back in the day. Now, probably for your cards, sunglasses, lipstick, whatever. The only thing was I did not like the thin strap on it, so I ended up leaving her. I did find this other cool purse as well. I love the color and the texture on it. The thing is I have a lot of purses, so I definitely need to be selective every time I'm in this aisle. Got a couple of really cool pieces. Going to head home now because it's quite late. I'll see you guys on the next trip day. So another thrift day, you already know, I started with the skirt aisle and the blazer aisle and I found this really cool skirt that had gold glitter in it. I did not find anything in the blazer aisle unfortunately. The only thing that caught my eye really was this Marc Jacobs blazer because it had a really cool hook and eye kind of pin at the front, but it wasn't anything crazy. These shoes on the other hand were so cool, I just wish they were my size. They were a six, six and a half, so they were definitely small on me, but they were iconic. Moving on to the purses aisle, I found this one bag that really caught my eye. Unfortunately, it was a little bit worn on the front and back, but I just thought the shape of it was really cool. The front pockets were definitely different. And then I found this bag, which now that I'm watching back, I really wish I got. I don't know why I didn't consider it longer. Next I went into the men's section and I was basically just explaining here that if you're into the kind of low rise, oversized jeans fit then I definitely recommend looking in the men's section, that's where I've gotten a lot of my pants like that and so I always make a point to check. I didn't find anything in the dresses, there was only one piece that was kind of interesting and it was this jean dress. I think it's a cool piece for summer and into fall, but it's not exactly my style, so I figured there's no point in getting it if I'm not going to wear it very much. I wanted to try the skirt on. I ended up just kind of trying it on in front of the mirror, and I loved the color of it and everything. In terms of the fit, it was just a little bit long, but I feel like I could always crop it. Um, then I found this helmet length shirt, which was Really cool and I feel like very classic, would look great with a black mini skirt. And the last thing I found while filming was this kind of light yellow slash lime green tank top. It was just a really soft fabric and seemed like a good summer piece, more of like a summer wardrobe basic. I just got back to the car. I only ended up picking up two things because um, I wanted it to be things that I really like. So I got the skirt. I also got this brown mesh top that I thought was really cool because the sleeves are sheer and they are wide at the hand basically, like at the end. These two together actually looked really nice. A bit of a tip for thrifting is I find that when you're thrifting and you find things that are like completely different styles all over the place, chances are you're not going to use all those items. It might just be kind of like impulsively shopping. Um, whereas when you find things and you're like, okay, this together can be an outfit, I feel like chances are <laughs> it is your style and you are gonna wear it more. I'm definitely really excited about these. I just wanted to mention that, yeah, I didn't wanna like buy things um, just because I'm filming a video. Like I'm still looking for things that I actually really like and I don't need like to find a lot of things. Like I'm glad I found two things, they're things I like that I feel like are also versatile so I can wear them a lot. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow. All right, here we are back at it again with our third day of thrifting. And I ended up finding a lot of really good neutral pieces at this store, which made me really happy because they're very much me and very much perfect for fall, I think. I uh, started off with this leather Danny vest I found this really amazing mini skirt as well, it had the most perfect colors, but I think it was actually a kid's piece because it was very, very small at the waist. And right beside it, I was lucky enough to find another amazing skirt. This one was actually the perfect color, fabric combination, just about everything, and it went so well with that Danny leather vest. They're actually both Danny pieces. They're similar brown tones, not quite the same, but I thought it might make a really cool outfit if they work together. So 
these were the pieces that I found and was seriously considering. I ended up just going over to the mirror and kind of trying them on in front. I mean seriously, how perfect is a skirt? It has like the perfect bit of western vibes to it and it's also just very classic with the leather and suede finish. This top reminds me of something like Paco Rabanne, which I love. I think it's just such a beautiful like going out piece. I was also really into this pink and cream jacket I found. I just wish that the style of it was a bit more modern or edgy. It just had a little bit too much granny chic going on for me, but the fabric was amazing and the colors. And then I found a couple pairs of shorts that I was considering last minute, but because summer's ending, I kind of decided to move on to jackets. I also love the color and the texture of this jacket, but the fit of it just wasn't really my style. This vest, on the other hand, was a staple for me because you guys know I absolutely love my vests and I had to get that piece. found these really cool heels that had kind of like a square toe style to them and I like the texture of them as well. They just look like a really classic piece, but I don't really have anywhere to wear them right now. But honestly, the shoe section really pleasantly surprised me at the store. I ended up finding so many good pairs. These, for example, are iconic, again, very like 90s, early 2000s style, but they were unfortunately way too small for me. They were a size five, five and a half. Moving on to purses, I ended up only finding one that I really liked, but I immediately knew I had to get it because it's such a simple, classic shape. I love the kind of baguette style, but it's also very like square and structured and this thin strap also gives me a bit of a sporty feel to it, so I really like that. Got a couple cute pieces. I didn't buy too much again, I really just wanted to get pieces that I really like, and I feel like these are a good mix of summer and fall pieces. I feel like that just tells you that they're more practical, right? Like if you can wear them multiple seasons, so I'm gonna head home now and have some breakfast because I'm starving. <laughs> So it was my first time at this next location and it ended up being overall a bit of a flop. I found a couple cool pieces but nothing that I really needed. The main problem I'm having right now with thrifting for shoes and not only but largely like heels and stuff is there's so many cool heels at the thrift store that you can find like so many good vintage pairs but right now there's just nowhere to wear them. Like these ones, the crushed velvet, cream color with a little bow, these are so cool, but I truly don't know when I'll get the chance to wear them. Okay, this jean jacket on the other hand, oh my god, it hurts me watching this because I really wish I ended up getting it. It's such a cool like motto style jacket. Okay, let's just take a second to take in these shoes. They were such a good pair. I wish they were my size. Again, they were too small on me. And just imagine them being worn with this bag, okay? It was such a cool texture and colored bag. It was really just the shape of it that didn't work for me. It was a little bit too old school. One really cool bolero that was kind of a nylon fabric and it just had like this cool ruching texture it was really nice but it fit a little bit too loose on me like i wasn't quite comfortable with the shape of it maybe i could have gotten it tailored but okay this jacket guys seriously i really wish i ended up getting it i don't know why i didn't so i just left valley village and just not my day or not my location. I don't know, it was my first time here. Um, but I did run into my friend. There was one piece that I found that I really liked, but it fit a bit big on me, but all good. If not today, then another day. All right, we are on our last day of thrifting for this video and for this week. And there's a lot to unpack in this one. I ended up finding the most pieces out of all the days in this one trip. Seriously, if the last trip was not my day, then this one was it. <laughs> so this 
this leather jacket was pretty much everything I've been looking for in a leather jacket recently and I was so excited to find it until I put it in my cart and I realized that it was ruined on the back. There was like a stain or something, so I ended up putting her back. But that's pretty much exactly what I'm looking for in a leather jacket right now, so I'll be on the hunt for it again on the next thrift trips. the Sony Raquel blazer in the blazer aisle and it just absolutely made my day. And as you'll see, it only got better. Just a couple jackets later, this beautiful Escada piece. Then I moved on to the accessories and found this beautiful but totally unnecessary pin and then I went on to the shoe section and it did not disappoint at all. I ended up finding so many good pairs again like these beautiful leather loafers that I believe are actually men's and brand new too so I sourced those from the shop. And then I found this pair of splash clog style heels. These are just incredible. They look like they're basically dead stock, like zero wear. It's like a good 90s, early 2000s brand. And speaking of iconic, I also found these Playboy flats, which were really cool. They had a bit of wear and definitely need a good clean, but they were really nice. These Stuart Wiseman kitten heels were also a dream and they were actually my size but they were missing one of the butterfly rhinestones so I ended up leaving them behind just because of that and then I headed over to the purses. Unfortunately I do regret not getting this bag also, it's so pretty. I did also find this really amazing vintage guest bag which I loved for the shape but it did have a bit of an uh, indent so I left it behind and then I just went on to look over all the things I found such as this DKNY mini skirt which I ended up finding on Depop a week later for $45. And I also found the Save the Queen top, which I was tempted to get just because I love the brand, but the top was just not it for me. I was however very happy to find the skirt, which was long and just looked very cozy, as well as this one, which had an awesome combination of green and purple. I also found an amazing pair of lace pants, which I've actually been looking for something of this for a long time to layer under skirts. So I just finished thrifting for the day. I found some really, really amazing pieces. I'm actually a little bit shocked. I haven't bought this much in one trip in a very long time. I'm very happy with the stuff I found. I found some pieces that I sourced for my shop as well, which I'm very excited about. And overall, just a good trip. So that was awesome. Mm -hmm.